If a man doesn't continue his pursuit of me, the reality is he's not going to get the opportunity to be with me because me and my feminine energy, knowing my worth, I'm going to sit on my throne and do what I do best, attract. So if I've attracted you and you're still not pursuing me, boy. It is not my role as the woman in her feminine energy to do the chasing. It is your role as the man to hunt, to chase. So if you want me, that is the way you're going to get me. Don't expect me to chase. And if your pursuit of me drops off, so is my interest. The way how these women class themselves as the opportunity and put themselves on a pedestal as if men are lucky to be in their presence and to be able to speak to them is deplorable. Since when has feminine energy been about entitlement? No. Feminine energy is about being nurturing, kind and caring. Her attitude is going to keep her alone for a very long time. It sounds like to me she's not even worth chasing. It's not really worth my time. I'm just wondering how you meet people if you don't ever want to use a dating app and you never leave your apartment ever. Thank you. That's not the way you're supposed to meet people, okay? it's so funny how certain men want to come on the internet talking about women aren't natural these days women wear too much makeup women don't wear their natural hair women are misleading us and deceiving us so the only way that we can actually see a natural woman is to take them swimming on the first date now these same said man that are talking like this your hairline was back here why is your hairline sitting here why have you drawn on your hairline your hairline is receded and you've misled and deceived me to think your hairline is here and you've even contoured on your hairline you sprayed your hairline on and contoured your hairline and you want to try and come for, for for me for wearing a little piece of makeup yeah you're mad you're mad you're not you're not okay because that's not okay behavior don't try and draw us out when you're out here strolling the streets with your your sprayed on contoured hairline it doesn't make sense it doesn't make any sense at all I've never heard about a guy spraying his head to create a hairline for himself. But if we think about the odds of that happening, it's pretty slim compared to a woman wearing a wig. Notice the double standard though. If we take a look at her hairline, it's pretty high up. And if she was a man, we would say that her hairline is receding. Losing her hair. You wanna know what's funny? my ignorance a few years ago can you believe look at the way i thought look at this just listen to this shit listen i at the time was like a boyfriend ew like what is that ew not for me like yuck whatever whatever i was like no no boyfriend like i just i was like no just not for me right now but you know you want to know you want to know what i thought i was like oh you know i'm not ready right now but whenever i do want one i'll just get one easy I thought it was so simple and just, you know, I, w I was like, yeah, sure. Like, why not? Just get a boyfriend. Easy. Boy, was I wrong. Fast forward a few years later. Yo. It's the ignorance for me. Like, why the, f like, why would I think that way? Like, uh, like, it's, it's not easy. So she was once arrogant enough to think that she could get a boyfriend anytime she wanted. So she rode the carousel for a couple of years and enjoyed hot girl summer. Now she's starting to pass on and hit the wall. She's realizing finding a boyfriend is almost impossible, especially in this day and age. I'll give her credit though, at least she can admit that she was being ignorant. I'll give her that. Thank you.